Are these the hope fools? Yes, my lord. Hey, Lord. Chai. Lord. Jesus. Hey. Hey. Chai. Hey. Please, sir, we don't want to do it again. If I can, it was a mistake. Uh, yes. Be yourself. Papa no be. Too big again. Too much to do again. Hi everyone, welcome to yet another time with me. My name is Chacho Wabara and um, I hope we have wonderful time today. Today we'll be reviewing, okay, 2021 Nigerian movie titled Aki and Popo, um, directed by Biodun Steven with notable actors and actresses like um, Chinedu, Ikedieze, Osita Ihe, Mechomo Okafo, Uti Mwachuku, Tonye Abraham, Stan Nze, Bev Leo Su, Anita Asuoha, Mona, okay, Amechi Monago, Charles Inoji. What is wrong with Nigerians? Why do people, you know, See, when I was watching this Aki and Popo, it was like, make it not be like, see, I know, see, I know book the movie. Make it not be like, see, I know watch this movie. When I was growing up, you know, with Aki and Popo, I never saw the first Aki and Popo, for starters. And, um, but, you know, there's no way you'll be in Igbo land. There's no way you'll be in Nollywood as at that time. You know, the first movies you will hear is of Sophia in London, Aki and Popo, you know, married, this died wretched, um, living in bondage, all those ones. Those ones, you know, all of these movies gave birth to the Nollywood, in quotes. I'm not saying that was the onset of Nollywood, but you know, that's when everybody just went crazy over Nollywood. But then, hold up. Why? Why are they insulting us like this? Why would you bring this kind of movie? You see, the head and tail of this movie, I don't understand. It had no story, it had no understanding, it had, it just, you know, basic actors and actresses with skills coming there to do things that I don't understand. Now, Aki and Popo, whatever, with their father, Amechi Monago, Aki and Popo, you see, I can't even explain this movie. Aki and Popo are supposedly staying in Lagos with their uncle, Charles Inoche, and um, they are working in their neighbor's place, uh, restaurant, beer parlor, Tony Abrams beer parlor, with Wari Pekin there. Um, um, Stan, Stan is his wife, I can't remember her name. Yeah, and... Um, you know, Stan is a, is a customer. His sister is an Oma Oka for his sister or his relative or something. You see, on, on the one end, you will see that Uti Wachuki is an influencer with Choma, you know, being his PA, doing everything for him and, you know, feeling dissatisfied. And also Beverly Osu is also a colleague and Beverly Osu wants to topple her and take over her position. And um, Choma Oka is feeling like... Um, She's not getting her money's worth, like she's not being well paid for all the work she's doing. And then on the other hand, we see Aki and Popo going through one thing or the other, being duped, you know, and um, stealing their madam's money to for a deal that didn't work out. What else? What else? And then at the beginning, you see Funny Bone took them to took them to a native doctor's place that they wanted to get rich, but it didn't work out. And then they swore an oath and then they went. And then another one, you will not see Obi Kubana or something. See Obi Kubana or this guy that owns a club in Abuja. I don't know. <sighs> Coming down and, you know, okay, let's just say, Maybe that was a dream or something. You see, the movie was scattered. Then later on, Chomoka Fona had her own um, blog where she was um, still blogging on the G. And that was how she discovered um, Aki and Popo and started taking their money. Meanwhile, they had blown and all that. You see, it had diverse stories that were not coordinated. And so everything was just, you know, jampa, 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 you know, mismatched, you know. Um, story that did not make sense at the end of the day and I'm like what? Why have you people come to put bitterness in my mouth? After Anikola you know, my village people um, you know, Raz guy, Raz guy self -sha. let me, I'll get to Raz guy uh, you know, good movies after Blood Sisters 
you know, and uh, what's it called? Chief Daddy, yeah, after Chief Daddy. You know, we had recovered, we were recovering after Chief Daddy. And then they just took us back again with this Aki and Popo. I'm like, why, 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 why are Nigeria so difficult? Like, why are they like this? What kind of thing? Is this the kind of movie that even Netflix should even be featuring? I was so mad at the end of the day. It was a flop. It was annoying. It was, it had no form. It had no, 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 no direction. It had nothing whatsoever. It, 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 it was nothing that I was taking from it. There was nothing that I, I, I wasn't getting entertained. I, it, it, it was just a run around, a scattered comedy. There was no storyline and a waste of the expertise and skills of these actors and actresses i'm even shocked that they even did this movie in the first place like what at the end of the day you are saying in memory of 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 this in memory of that couldn't you have done a better one if you wanted to redo aki and popo was that the way to do the to redo the aki and popo i don't know if they were engine on on this uh, what was what was this? what was their name p square story the letter say engine on ah all this just lover kind of you took my money did not take my money you did this you did not did this one kind of uh, influencer thing now i'm say engine on another thing so it was just annoying and I'm, I'm wondering why what kind of thing is that you know so it, it just it just was just beyond um my comprehension and it was annoying and i'm so disappointed in this movie i don't know what any other person has to say if you had fun watching the movie man ha. wow anyhow so um i'll be rating this movie a two over ten I'll just be rating this movie a 2 over 10 because the video quality was okay. In terms of cinematography, the, the picture quality was okay. The video quality was okay. The sound was okay. The locations were just there. Okay. And the plot was nothing to write home about. Uh, I can't even begin to rate the skills of our actors and actresses in that movie because that, that movie does not begin to do their expertise. Uh, okay, good. You know, I can't rate them based on that movie because they are better than that movie. Way, way better than that movie. I, I, I can't understand or I can't begin to understand why Biodu Stevens, you know, directed that kind of movie. And I don't know what he or she expected, what they expected from that movie. I don't know what they were expecting from the movie when they read the script and all that. I, I, I don't know. I, I have no words for the director, for the script writers, for the production team. I have no words for them. It was the, one of the most annoying movies I've seen in a while, which brings me to the end of this movie review. Up there, you see my Korean movie review, my Chinese movie review, my Nigerian movie review, and then again, my movie review. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I'll see you next time.